Monday morning again and first time another day one, another attempt at quitting. Thing is for many of my clients who um, who continually relapsed before joining my program, they were too full of guilt, remorse, even shame to make it work. Their self-worth was so low that they felt that they didn't deserve to be sober, didn't deserve to have the opportunity at a better life. They felt that after all that happened because of their drinking, that it would be wrong now to turn their life around. Some even had ex-partners reinforce this idea by saying things like, how come you couldn't get sober for me, for the kids, etc. So of course they feel guilty, unworthy. The little voice in their head jumps at this opportunity, of course, and they find themselves self-sabotaging their recovery. And then they find themselves back on the merry-go-round of drinking again. See, as I've said many times, excess drinking, or indeed any addictive behaviour, is a symptom of other underlying issues. That's why, if you only focus on the giving up, let's say, you're at high risk of relapsing time and again. <coughs> Even if you do succeed, um, you are very likely to replace that coping mechanism with another. So if you, or someone you know, find yourself this morning in the early days of your journey to sobriety, it's critical to be able to work out the reasons behind the crutch. Otherwise, you will find yourself thinking non-stop about how hard it is to give up. This is not about giving up though. Recovery is instead all about recovering who you were meant to be and you can't become that person until you resolve those issues. And that's where your focus needs to be. Okay guys, hope this little tip of the day gives you some food for thought and helps you commit to taking action. Till next time, uh, cheers. <laughs>